If you don't know what's been happening in Ukraine lately, you probably live underneath a give. Look, I'm gonna get straight to the point in this video. So, uh, I made a video two years ago about the whole Iran versus America thing because people were making jokes about that as well. But I'm not gonna be talking about this. I'm gonna be talking about Ukraine. People are making jokes about Ukraine and it's not funny. It really needs to stop and it's just not okay. It, it just blows my mind how much my generation, Gen Z, nowadays cannot fathom how bad the situation is. And, and it just goes to show you how ignorant how our generation have become. There's many jokes on TikTok and what's not about people basically saying that oh uh, uh world war three is gonna happen and, and and people are using like effects and edits to like show themselves like being blown up or something Ugh. it's just not funny it you're using this conflict which is actually hurting innocent people for views it's just not right okay i, I know what a lot of people are gonna say some people might say oh but 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 you made a video the other day about the whole Ukraine situation I uh, that Paul video like I made it as a joke don't get me wrong I didn't make it as a joke but the difference between that and the jokes that people are making is that I'm a geopolitical nerd okay I knew that this war was gonna come matter of fact I've been joking about this war happening for for years to come okay and if you know me in real life you've probably heard me talk about it like maybe once or twice but I didn't really talk about it with people that video i joked about russia invading ukraine not the people suffering not the bombs being dropped i just joked about the political factor in that video which was the invasion itself because there was talks about invasion coming for months upon months since 2021 really and truly so no i didn't make jokes about World War Three, people being blown up and, and what's not. That's what I'm talking about. It really needs to stop. And I, I just cannot believe that these people who never cared about Ukraine, because really and truly this conflict has been happening since 2014, but when you were made and protests happened and you oversee the pro-Russian government and it installed President Zelensky there, nobody cared back then. 14,000 people have died in the past seven years since the whole Russian-Ukraine conflict happened back in 2014 and President Vladimir Putin funded pro-Russian rebel groups in Donbass, the Donbass region. I, 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 nobody really knows much about that either. And it's crazy how suddenly nobody cared about none of that. Nobody cared about how for the past seven years Ukraine was the only country at a war in Europe where its most prosperous provinces was completely destroyed nobody cared about that but now all of a sudden people just care about it and now people want to make jokes about it because of social media I just can't fathom that I really cannot fathom that and I can honestly talk about how these people suddenly like literally everybody apparently knew nothing about Ukraine but now apparently because they watched one news article now every all of a sudden everyone's a geopolitical nerd now like really really like what is this literally other people with right other geopolitical nerds such as myself of course which have talked about Ukraine which knew about the whole issue of Ukraine for years and years and years know how much hypocrisy and BS is going on right now with the common folk the common folk i.e. these children on tiktok who just wants views 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 just it's just so disrespectful I, I honestly if you live in ukraine right now i feel so bad for you i feel so bad for you that you have to go and, and live through bombings after bombings after bombings really and truly i felt bad for ukraine before most other people did that's the funny part about it but I just feel bad for you that you have to go through bombing after bombing and then you have to go on stuff like TikTok. You have to go on stuff like TikTok and I see people making jokes out of it. Because people take it for granted how they just sit 
themselves at home in a country that is peaceful, i.e. the United States or maybe even Western Europe. People take that for granted. Uh, uh, they still have the audacity, right? A lot of those people who make jokes about World War Three, Ukraine this, Ukraine that. They still have the audacity to complain about their lives when other people have to live through actual wars, right? Like, they, like they, it shows, it goes to show you how people do not care about other people. It just goes to show you that. Really, into all of this, you know what? I'm gonna say that for another video. The whole oh, I stand with Ukraine. I stand with Ukraine. I stand with Ukraine. That, that, shut up! Literally, shut up! I'm gonna make a whole other video on that. But this time, I'm just talking about the jokes. And I'm gonna and the whole World War Three thing. I'm so sick and tired of people joking about World War Three. It's not gonna happen with Ukraine. Once again, it is not going to happen. If you say World War Three is gonna happen, you are ignorant. You are stupid. You are ignorant. You're a dumbass, and you need to stop saying that the jokes are not funny it's not funny it is literally not funny people think that this is games people do not understand that the long peace that they've been living through is about to be over that's what people do not understand all you people making jokes do not understand that this is just the beginning okay there are plenty more wars to come plenty People took this long piece that we've been living through for granted. People took it so much for granted, in fact. They didn't even know that this was the most peaceful time in the entirety of human history. And it's crazy to me. So all these people making jokes, but they don't understand that prices are going up. The economies are crashing. We're about to head into another Great Depression. And yet people are sitting there joking 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 a, a lot of kids from my generation but what they don't understand is that we're about to be adults i'm turning 17 this year next year i'm gonna be 18 years old god's willing i'm gonna be a grown adult we we are gonna be taking the brunt of that and it's mad to me how despite the fact that my generation is gonna be taking the brunt of that most of these children are sitting here and joking about all of this mess that is crazy it's so, so, so crazy. And if you dare call out their bullshit, because that's what it is. If you dare call it out, they're, they're, they're all going to get mad at you. It, it, just think about that. Just think about that. World War Three is not going to happen for another 10 to 20 years. Not until China decides to invade Taiwan. Which China did say they will invade Taiwan. And the US has vowed to protect Taiwan. That's when World War Three is gonna happen. I I'm telling you, even when that happens, people are still going to be making jokes about that. That is crazy. It's so 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 crazy. And the people going to talk about, oh, I'm heading to Ukraine. Oh, boys, like the, all these um memes account, all these meme accounts like Hoodville and. and those retarded accounts really and truly talking about so oh yeah boys I'm I'm heading out to Ukraine N nigga shut up literally shut up that is not funny innocent people are dying the entire population has to defend their country and you're making jokes about it that is not funny like I said in my Iran video I like jokes as long as they're funny but the problem with this situation is, if you're a historical nerd, geopolitical nerd like me, you know that none of this is not funny. There is nothing to joke about here. People know how bad Russia is. And that's why it's not funny. Because if Ukraine loses the war, they're going to have to go through a Russian puppet state. They're going to become... A Russian puppet state like what Belarus is and you've seen how bad it is in Belarus with President Lukashenko that country has had the same president for 40 years 40 years ever since the fall of the Soviet Union and Belarus became a new country they have had the same president for years 
and that country is basically a Russian puppet state. Ukraine is trying to avoid that. Ukraine is trying to defend their freedom, and yet people from my generation is joking about it. And I'm just like, why? Why can people just not mind their own business, do their own thing, right? Just live their lives and just stop joking about it. people trying to be funny trying to look righteous trying to look smart with this suddenly the whole russo ukrainian conflict is a trend now on on, on social media even though the whole conflict has been on for seven years but no it's suddenly a trend now it's like people are so obsessed with this uh idea of war right it's like people are so obsessed with that that people are using it, and it's really sad that people are really using it to get ahead. It's really sad that people are honestly doing that, especially the people that are making jokes. I mean, if you honestly and really and truly laugh at those kinds of jokes, you're retarded, you're ignorant, and you don't know anything at, at all. Because for those people who actually knows how bad a situation really and truly is, especially for Ukraine and the Ukrainian people, President Zelensky and his family, they would not laugh at that. They would really and truly not laugh at that. Only stupid casuals would laugh at that. And really and truly, majority of people are ignorant and stupid. I'm telling you, majority of people that are probably going to be watching this are stupid little children from my generation. And that's just the hard truth. Most people are just stupid. So they're just going to laugh at, at things like that and just gloss over the, the real reality of the situation. In Ukraine, I, I don't worry. It is going to hit us hard. It is going to hit us so hard when the U.S. actually has to get involved in future conflicts like this, right? It is going to hit us so, so, so hard in the future. I, I really want to see if people are going to laugh about that. I, I, I really want to see. But yo, look. That's all I have to say about this. If if you're making jokes about this, if you're making memes about this, literally just stop it. It's just just stop it. Okay, just. just. <sighs> My God, people, you don't have to make jokes every single second about a situation. And there's also a lot of misinformation going around about this. I'm probably going to be talking about that another time. But just look, if you're making jokes about it, it's just stop it. It's not cool. It's not all right. It's just no. That's, that's not what I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. I'm I'm done here.